Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome, welcome back. I am Luna and I'm surrounded by crows, by eagles. This is unbelievable. I mean, sunshine, of course. Thank you, Sam, for being there. But look at this. I don't know if you can appreciate the birds. There are, it's full of birds here. I hope you can see them. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, there is more clear. And I'm back. Oh yes, oh yes. I miss you so, so much. Okay, my time in Argentina was amazing. I charge up, I connect with my friends, family. It's full of eagles. I don't know what they're looking for. There must be something somewhere nearby. Anyway, it's gorgeous to see. It is the perfect welcome back for the perfect topic. My favorite topic. <laughs> what you don't see coming. No, I didn't see coming. All these birds here, you know, welcome me back in this, you know, in this, uh, you know, park where I took Luna for a walk. You know, Luna, where are you? There, look at that. Luna, you want me to catch, to throw you the ball? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't know there were, I was going to be welcomed by, by all these gorgeous, the gorgeous sky, the gorgeous birds. They're living now. But that's not matter, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Now I need to find the feathers. You know, sometimes they come down this time of the year and you find a lot of feathers, a lot of feathers. A lot of crow, uh, eagle feathers that I have on my shop too. I don't think I have any, I have few left, but anyway. I love you, I miss you so, so much. <clears throat> what you don't see coming. And for this topic, we're talking about a month from now. Obviously it's a little bit uh, where we are right now. Uh, it's 18, 19, the 20th of April. It's a little bit, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, far away from the month, but it's a month from now. And of course, I'm going to do one in May, so don't worry. I want to thank you for waiting for me. I want to thank you for the love. I want to thank you for being present, no matter what. Because I thought about you all the time, and it was a hard decision to say, hey, I'm not going to do videos for the next three, three Sundays. It was tough, okay? Why? Because there is a pressure, you know, that we need to do videos every single da da da. But you know what? You deserve the best version of me. And that's why the best version of me needed time off. <laughs> I love you. I'm so happy to be back. I cannot tell you. I miss you so, so much. I cannot wait for this reading. What you don't see coming a month from now. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all the ones that purchases my, uh, they keep shopping on my Etsy shop. They keep checking on Aura. You know, Ora and I, we have a partnership. If you uh, get the meditation app, which is an all, I mean, it's, it's more than a meditation app. It's an all, all in one solution for evolving your intuition. Okay. You get a discount uh, and you get a free trial. And also thank you for the ones that purchased my, uh, you know, collaboration deck um, called the deck of the cosmic creators. Okay, you have seen that in my last reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love. Give me one second because Luna wants me to throw the water. Okay, let's go for it, Luna. <laughs> so, main thing, thank you for all the support there. And uh, if you, uh, what I was going to say. And thank you for subscribing, thank you for, I, I, thank, you, thank you, thank you. I feel very grateful to be here, very grateful that we are in a springtime in England, finally. It's sunny, finally it's warm. Um, it is a beautiful month, we have the eclipse, we have so many powerful uh, activations in the month of April. Uh, it's a still uh, a way to go and uh, honestly it's one of my favorite mess, uh, month of, mess, I'm talking in Spanish. <laughs> month of the year uh, is April. My son was born in April. Kino, Kino, I love Kino, was born in April. I know eight of my friends from childhood were born in April. April is the month where ev a lot of people that I love is, uh, you know, born. So it's a special month for me. 
So, let's stop the chat. You know, I can talk forever, as you know. I cannot wait for the reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, I see you in your reading. I show you the piles in a minute. And look at that cotton. It looks like ah, it's heaven. It looks like heaven. I love you. See you in your reading. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cha -cha -cha. Hello, talented souls. Happy day. Happy week. Happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome. Welcome back. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you for being so patient with me. We have three options for the, my favorite question, what you don't see coming, okay? And we have three rings that are going to be charged with the energy of the reading and available on my Etsy shop in an special, the one is right there, in an special link that is under timestamps and a special listing as well. Okay, option number one is this beautiful citrine, the same like this, they look like this. They're all different because it's different row. It's adjustable, and this is a, you know, a citrine ring. And this is the Radiant Tarot. I show you one so you take an idea of who is that. The Four of Wands, wow, a pregnant woman. And the Four of Wands, which is the card of marriage. And the house, it's the card of the house too. Okay, that's the energy there. Option number two is the beautiful Aventurine B ring. This is also adjustable. It's aventurine. It's gorgeous. And this is the new tarot. I haven't used this tarot in ages. Wow, the six of wands. Four of wands and six of wands. This is victory. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful energy so far. Option number three is amethyst. Adjustable too. It's beautiful. And this is a new deck also that I haven't used that much. Is the Journey Tarot. The Temperance. Temperance card. Look at how beautiful this Temperance card. The balance between generational balance. This is the energy I'm getting with this one. Beautiful. Okay. You can choose by timestamp, by colors, by deck, by ring, by um, intuition, all the way. <laughs> Please subscribe. That's the only thing you need to do today. No, two things. Subscribe, comment, share, like. Okay, I'm four. And then check out my Etsy shop. <laughs> Five. Check out my decks. Check out my pattern. Let's keep growing. Okay, so we ignite the planet. Well, I would love to ignite the universe. And for igniting the universe, I need all of you to ignite the world. <laughs> Namaste. See you in your reading. Thank you. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pine number one and this beautiful uh, citrine ring, this will be your reading. This ring will be charged with the energy of the reading. Available on my Etsy shop. First come, first serve. And um, it's only one ring. Look at this. Oh, oh. Thank you so much for being patient as I was saying that on the intro. Thank you for waiting for my videos. And thank you for all the love. Okay. I feel four because your card was the four of ones when we show the cards. Okay, what you don't see coming. I'm going to pull the cards while you are here. This takes a little bit more of time, but this is far more connected. Ooh, two cards. Far more connected with the energy of, you know, what you don't see coming. We see Venom there. Don't get worried about Venom. Mmm. The banner. Okay, this will be all the cards for now. Then I put a few more cards there. Okay, what you don't see coming, we're going to put this one, this one. 
this one for later. Dilitante. Delight in the art without having to be a professional. Oh, look at that. Alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuit. The shadow attribute is pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. Mm, interesting. This is an energy very similar to the Venom, eh? This is an en energy that uh, what you don't see coming is I see people hunting your, your work. People maybe want you to steal what you have done. Eh? Mm? If you're an artist, if you're an artist, if you are uh, someone that um, has done a, a, a book or write or art, any form of art, imagine you have a channel also of cooking, for example. You have a channel on tapestry. You have a channel on you know, drawings, you have a channel. Some people are going to try to pretend there are you, okay? Or, or really copycat your ideas, but they don't, they're not professional, where you are a professional of this. This is about perhaps an art technique, a redefinition of, um, of the tools to generate art. I see also people that are redefining how we do art, are they trying to be copied? And some students maybe, even students, even people that listen to you, is trying to, let's say, pretend there are you, but uh, they're not going to make it happen because, to be honest, the, the infinite source of creativity, I'm not saying that they are not creative and I'm not saying they're not good at what they do. What I'm saying is that they're not professional, they're not expert, they're not putting the effort, they're superficial about the learning. They are, they're trying to make shortcuts and be successful very quickly, where you have invested a lot of time learning, mastering your, your techniques, mastering the way that you produce your uh, content, your books, your art, your ta-ta-ta. What I see is someone with multi-talent able to do different things, at the style of many, 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 for example, Anthony Hospin, you know, he's a, he's also an artist. Uh, Pierce Brosman, he's an amazing artist, but he's an actor and, you know, he can talk and he can do multi... I, I don't know, they're, they do many, many things. What I'm seeing is the people that is watching you or listening to you, they're trying to copycat you. And that's the venom. That's the venom. Um, you know about this. Okay, you are conscious about this. You are prepared to do, to, you know, to confront this and you don't give a F about this. That's the most important thing. Yeah, agape. <laughs> this is the source of pleasure. Look at this. Your source of creativity is infinite. Your light your ideas are light up forever. And of course, you will be spreading these ideas into others and others are going to read and understand and learn from it. But no one is you, you know what I mean? That's the beautiful thing about being connected. We are all connected. You are spreading and sharing your talents and teaching, a lot of teaching I see, your talents or people learning from you without you knowing even. And this is a way of you to maintain this infinite source of creativity alive. Okay, so you are passing on knowing that there are some venom, meaning there are some people that want to steal from you. But for you, it's no stealing. For you, it's, it's a way of keeping your, your ideas stronger. It's a way of keeping you pushing. I mean, I love this because this is the venom or the, the, the people that try to be superficial and copy you literally give you more strength to innovate more. You understand? Your enemies, in a, in a, in a parenthesis way, I'm not talking, I, mean, I, I, I don't, you know, everything is balanced in life, okay? The people that want to, the people that is your enemy or the people that is learning from you and are stealing from you are your greatest source of inspiration. <laughs> Look at that. 
That's so cool. That's so cool. They ignite your fire. Okay? So you don't care about giving away what you know. You don't care about being copied because the more you get copied, the more successful you are. Listen to this. The more you get copied, the more successful you are. Because the more you get inspired, okay? The more you get inspired to, 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 you know, to keep this source of ideas alive. And what you don't see coming is right now I have the feeling that I have put in words what you haven't been able to describe before. The process of how your source of creativity comes from. Or what is this what feeds your source of, of creativity? Okay? Is the people that learn from you and take from you? Okay, what you don't see coming? The temperance, yes? Because you understand the balance. You understand the balance between giving and, I mean, you understand the balance that the more you put down, the more you receive from up. You understand? The more you plant your ideas, the more you plant your knowledge, the more you plant your creativity into others, the more ignited you get. Okay? I'm getting a strong, strong vibration here. 14 is a significant number. I'm getting a strong, strong vibration here that this dynamic, because in the past, maybe you have been very frustrated about people using your technique or copy you, ta, ta, ta. now you don't give a F. Now it's the source of inspiration. That's a very beautiful thing. You can balance the dark and the light. You can balance the giving and receiving in a very, very amazing way. The fool, wow. New opportunities are going to appear because you understand this dynamic. New opportunities are going to happen for you. You're going to take a leap of faith. This, this, this acknowledge is going to put you in a direction of greater and faster growth in your talent, in your abilities, in your skills. The tower, I'm telling you. I have the feeling that this is a tower moment, the moment that you realize that uh, the more that you teach or the more that others, as I said, the more that others do what you do, the more successful you will be. Two, three martial arcanas in this corner. And agape is finding the sweetness of life, finding the balance of life. Agape is about pure, pure enjoyment. The dilettante, the knight of wands, your students. Sometimes your student has, has they, they make you speed up. They make you speed up. They want to steal the they want to take this um, Wheel of Fortune. Look at that, Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you. The moment you understand this dynamic and you absorb it, you accept it, you embrace it, the more successful you will be. The, the moon is down. These people is trying to get your insight, your knowledge, your knowing, your intuition. They try to copycat you, I'm telling you. But that's good. That will take you to the fame. Ten of Wands. Make it easy for them to learn from you. Do not hide any secret about how you create your, your, your art. Do not hide any technique. Give it all. There is success there. I'm not saying that for example, if there is a copyright issue. Uh, if you need to copyright something, do it. Of course, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a legal expert. If you need to copyright something, copyright. But my point is, the more you give, the, the more you give out, the more famous you become. I'm drinking my mate. Five of swords on the venom. Yeah, of course, because these are people that want to steal from you. 
it was a nightmare in the past. I mean, sometimes you kind of feel like, what the F, no? And now the what the F means, what the F I do care. The more they talk about me, the more famous I am. There was someone in the past, I saw a video, no? But he was saying, the more your enemies talk about you, the more... The more you know that you are that you are reaching the you are reaching the success. Hmm? Nine of Wands, yes, the Venom with the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. You felt many times that you need to fight. You know, they put you down. This Venom, this 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 these people that try to you know, and sometimes they don't take you for ser for, for real. You know what I mean? They don't take you seriously. All of that has given you a lot of nightmares and a lot of, uh, let's say, some, not a lot, you know. It, it can give you pain in, in this journey of what you do, okay? Now it's about to, the tower, the full, two cards of radical change, radical new beginning. The temperance is about learning that balance. The agape is the infinite source of creativity and the will of fortune is a turn for the good for you and what you do okay three more cards the high power wow four we saw the four at the beginning of the reading and for me four is this is happening right now you are getting activated you're getting downloads the higher power is is the, the will of fortune and the tower are the energy of radical change okay so you are going to experience an inner transformation because this source is aligning inside of you to create things of greater value. That's what I'm getting. The swan queen, transformation, intuition, and patience. Yeah, you were patient enough. Number 13 is a significant number. Number 14 as well. Okay, so, so these numbers, no? The 13, the 14, and the 16. Hmm? You have been very patient, you have you are transforming, you are following your intuition. And for me, the Swan Queen is the, you know, you were the black swan there, no? Mm? Why? Because you have ways of doing things that are completely transformational. Trans the, your techniques are unique. That's why you are the black swan here for me. You are the Swan Queen. Now everyone is going to pay respect. You go, you people is going to talk about you. I mean, that's the main thing for me. People is going to talk about you, and that why? Because you are disruptive. Why? Because you are giving away your your knowledge, and that makes you famous. Okay, that makes you put puts you in the spotlight. Yes, a spark. Look at this music as well. Spark, forty three, thirty four, significant number. Yeah. Inspiration, higher power, creativity, alignment of the infinite source of creativity. You see? Multiple talents. People that want to steal, but in reality, these people that want to steal, the only thing that they're doing is that they are helping you to keep innovating, to keep flexing, to keep learning. Okay? Here you jump, here you flex a little bit, here you do the whole, the whole position. You understand? So you are you are learning to go with this flow. And there is greatest, great, great reward in this. Great, great rewards. Okay, I want to put a few more cards from here. I love your reading, it's very specific. Mm -hmm. Okay, final advice for my dear talented souls of pine number one. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Well, here is a clearly someone that can do exercise, no? <laughs> this is it. The key to manifest quickly is to have very high energy levels and the easy way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you can look back, uh, you will look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Yeah, keep moving, keep testing, keep exploring, keep you know, keep igniting, yeah, keep that energy high. 
Okay, it's clearly that here we have someone that does exercise. Moonlight, you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping you other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take fly, fly and fully support you. That's beautiful. And one more. Manifestation power, wow. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. And it was 17 on my clock. It is very clear for me that you have learned a lesson. And that you are, uh, by embracing by embracing what really, really make you upset or by embracing your enemies, you become the maestro. That's what I'm going to say as the summary. Okay? It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me read for you. If you enjoy the reading and you want this, this ring that is charged with the energy of the agape, okay? I will put it there and the higher power. But I think the agape is my card today. Uh, this is available on my Etsy shop. The listing is under timestamp. Please subscribe, comment, share, like. Become a patron. I have a... Six, more than 60 readings there, exclusive for my patrons. Uh, it, it is a very low, low, uh, I mean, it's no, it's a monthly subscription and it's not that high. It supports me massively. You can, I, I mean, in one day I will tell you, you know, how that support me. Uh, but everything that you can do, I really appreciate. Thank you so much for being here. Till the next time. Hope this helped and I wish you all the best. Love you. Namaste. Have an amazing day, amazing week, amazing life. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. If you have chosen pine number two and this beautiful aventurine and uh, bee, golden bee ring, this will be charged with the energy of your reading and available on my Etsy shop, the listing and the timestamps. And you have chosen the... Muse Tarot. I haven't used this tarot in ages. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. I stopped using it because so many people were using it. And I get, you know, I don't like to see the same cards over and over. I don't know. I always like, um, you know, new decks. Of course, I cannot purchase all of them, all of them. But I always like, you know, new decks. But now it's time to go back. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And yeah, it's beautiful. Maybe you have that deck. Maybe you have that deck. Okay. So what you don't see coming, and thank you so much. I don't know why I'm putting two cards for you everywhere. Thank you so much for the patience, eh? If you have waited for me. If you're new, welcome, and you skip all the intro and everything. I am Luna, and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love, okay? I focus on talent, on career. There is something missing here. No, nothing missing. Okay. What you don't see coming, it comes in couples. These two, the father and the animal. Mamma mia. Life attributes, talent for creating and supporting life. Positive guiding light within a tribal unit. And the animal, which is following your instinct. The animal is, the animals remember the panther, the lion, you know, the, the raw, raw, raw energy. Number 19, which is the number of the sun. And then talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a travel unit. The leader, the father, the leader. You know? The one that the tribe will follow. The highest in instinct, the highest. Lord, a strong masculine energy here. Strong masculine energy. Wow, the eros and the mystic. Mamma mia. Light attribute reveals 
revels in intimate union with the divine. And then Eros. Wow. Two cards, two cards that talk about primal, primal instinct. Okay. The animal is the hunter and the Eros is the sexual attraction. Is a sexual sacral chakra, solar solar plexus chakra, no sacral chakra, yes, sacral chakra. There is a diamond in the mouse, and there is a blue eye in the animal. Blue because it's the blueprint, and diamond is because it's divinely guided. Okay, clearly some of you are finding a partner. Okay, I don't talk about love, but you know, like uh, I will need to comment here because it's obvious. It's obvious that some of you are manifesting a partner, the father of your children, okay? You are uniting forces with someone that is very strong. This is a union of two very strong forces. One is the feminine with the Eros and the mystic. In fact, is Eros is a mouse of a female and a female. And the other is the father and an animal that animals, well, seems masculine for me. The sun is masculine as well and uh, there is a father there someone that is very strong very solid also what i'm getting is that this is the perfect union between between feminine and masculine feminine be, being mystical um, psychic uh, intuitive and masculine being action being the leader for the tribe but at the same time being very evolved emotionally This is great balance, great partnerships. This is also a father. This is also a very inst instinct driven. Instinct and intuitive guided connection. Okay. I'm going to put two cards per, 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 per car, so it's easy. What an interesting reading, eh? Two of inspiration, two of wands, partnership, again. Someone looking at the horror at the stars, and this person is looking at the stars. You understand? The dreams. Maybe you are an astronomer, or you work with the stars. Astrology as well. This is an indication that the inspiration comes from the cosmos and the mystic always connect with the cosmos and the divine. Stars, stars, stars. There is a connection here in terms of what you do with this person, if it is another person. And if this you, this is a connection with your purpose, very strongly activating your purpose. Father, two of cups, and I'm not surprised. The Ten of Swords. The end of being single. <laughs> it's the end of being single for many of you. Wow, this is partnership very clearly in many cases. The animal, wow, the queen, the, the moon, the moon. And the queen of inspiration, okay, which is the intuitive one. It has Egypt, it has a leopard, and it has the third eye being activated, which is the mystic. This is the animal is manifesting the mystic. The mystic is a queen and is the moon. It's intuitive. Maybe you do what I'm doing right now. This is about also following your intuition. This person, or I mean, if we're talking, I mean, yeah, we're talking about... I don't like to talk about love. <laughs> no, in, in a negative way, just in a way that I like to talk about evolution of the self. Okay, but in this case, okay, I cannot avoid it. Okay, the idea is that this person is mirroring you, is searching for you. He's searching for the moon and the queen. The mystic is the moon and the queen because the moon is the intuition, the mystic world with the moon. And as, at the same time, the mystic is out there being followed. Two of cups is father and kid. Again, a connection, a father. 
The end of being alone. The Eros. Ace of Voices and the Page of Materials. A very concrete offer. And the Ace of Voices, look at what the Ace of Voices, which is the Ace of Source, has. And, and um, uh, an O, which is talks about intuition, talks about wisdom. There is a concrete offer on the arrows, mean a concrete offer of partnership. This is your truth. Your truth, your instinct will connect you both in a new truthful beginning. And the mystic, the star, and the empress. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You are the queen of... You are the queen of wands, the star, and the empress. This person is manifesting you. You are manifesting this person. This is a partnership. This is a complete mirror of energy. This is the best match ever between Eros and Animal. Okay? Instinct, intuition, someone very solid, or someone that is a leader of the tribe and someone that is a leader on the divine world, meaning that you are someone. I'm getting you or you, okay? Either. This person here is a voice for humanity. This person is going to be very successful by doing this work, inspiring others, guiding others. And this person is a solid base. Okay, it's a solid base. It's someone that is very strong and it's someone that is coming to achieve. Okay, one more card to clarify the father. I want to know who is the father. Another two. Wow, someone that has two jobs. Two, two, partnerships partnerships emo i mean inspiration partnerships and material partnerships that's why the offer we have two roses here two roses here you're getting a concrete offer okay this is no blah 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 i like you i want to be with you no this is let's build a family you know what i mean type of energy we have we have three twos two 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 wow the end of being alone I mean, single. If you are a couple, the end of being alone as a couple, having having kids, you know what I mean? It's a portal opening. There is a portal opening. Okay, I want to know more about the father. Tell me more about the father, please. The muse of voices. Wow, this is the... Um, the muse is the king of source. Again, the father is the king of source. And he's represented by two. He is in the search of union, becoming a father, becoming a leader, becoming a tribe. This is someone truly committed. At the bottom, the magician. He is a magician. Okay, he's an animal manifesting this new beginning. Is truthful to you both. He's searching for the moon and the queen of inspiration. He's searching, and you are the star and the empress. The moon, the moon is a water sign. Ah, oh, I don't remember. Okay, the moon is, is a water sign. The empress and the star. I don't remember which sign represents. The, the magician is, is Gemini, which is coincides with the king of source. Someone may be an air sign, but he's searching for the fire. You definitely have a lot of fire on your chart. But this is an extra information. This is a story of partnership, okay? Clearly union between two people to create more life or to create partnerships of all types, emotional partnership, Material partnership, inspirational partnership. You in this connection, you are already an star and an empress. This person is already a king. Perhaps he's already a father. He's hunting for the eros. Because life meant to be 
ignite it. That's the portal to ign to to fire to ign to be ignited. New life, yes. I mean, clearly, thirty-nine significant number. A new beginning. The magician and the ace of boys. Ace of swords. Wow. Ooh, compass. Fifty significant age. Thirty-nine significant age. Look at that. The destiny, the compass, united, uniting two people in the same time zone, in the same time and space, in the same moment. There is a frog here because you kiss, you kiss many frogs before you kiss the prince. The same for that person. Okay, and here we have Aquarius marking Aquarius. Aquarius time will be very significant. Also Gemini, Gemini Cancer now. Wow. Two compass connecting. Two life connecting. The winged wise ones. Angelic help, miraculous aid. Yeah, this is a miraculous union. This is a miraculous union. 34 significant number as well and 43. People born in 93. This is a miraculous situation. Angelic help and miraculous. This is divinely guided. This is a divine union. This is two forces of nature, eros and animal. Combining. Okay? The leader and the leader. The leader, positive guiding light and the divine light. Okay, I mean both light. You know what I mean? It stars guiding you, it stars guiding you. King of Swords, Queen of Wands. The star, the Empress, the entrepreneur, the, the, the person that is okay by herself, the person that is searching for this partnership, the commercial partnership, the instinct, the, the inspirational partnership, the emotional partnership. He's searching for the mystic, he's searching for the person that is out there. Wow, this is a this is a compass collide. This is like all is one single message. There is a union happening like no other. A union that changed your life, their life, and activate energy on this planet. That's what this connection is meant to do. Opening a portal for inspiration. Creating waves of light divine energy into this world. This is a way of the universe saying to you, thank you for trusting, thank you for doing what you do. Because you do what you do, we will put in front of you people that do what you do. Make sense? Here I see a very strong, uh, let's say, very strong uh, purpose connection more than anything else a connection of purposes justice yes a connection of purposes a connection of destinies a connection of missions a connection of com of destiny beyond everything else beyond everything else at the bottom the three of emotion which is the three of cups a celebration this is what it is this about this is about justice to your talent, to your mission, by, by powering up your mission with someone else. Namaste. No wonder you chose the beast, which is abundance, and the aventuring, which is also abundance. I will put it here in this middle, middle center. <clears throat> This ring is charged with the energy of this reading. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish you all the best. Uh, please comment, subscribe, share, like. Check on my Patreon, check on my Etsy shop. Check on my TikTok, my Instagram, and also um, check on my new deck, the deck of the Cosmic Creator, and check on Aura. Um, this is a all-in-one all meditation app that is very good to develop your intuition 
and it's very good to uh, empower your uh, yeah what you already do you have a um, free trial with my link and also a discount thank you thank you thank you i love you have an amazing day an amazing week an amazing life till the next one bye bye Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pie number three and this beautiful amethyst ring that will be charged with the energy of this reading and available on my Etsy shop, timestamp under the uh, no link under timestamp. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the love. We're going to do this reading. It has been a while. Thank you for the patience. Thank you for the love. Thank you for being here. Okay. Let's go for it. I get an energy of action with you. Strong energy of action, determination. Mm -hmm. We're answering what you don't see coming a month from now. And uh, I love this topic because it's any topic. <laughs> What you don't see coming. Okay. I'm going to put two of these. Okay. So far, so good. And then at the end, I'm going to put another card. Okay. What you don't see coming. The prince. <laughs> Romantic charm a potential and potential for power. What I can say. What you don't see coming is a prince, an offer, an offer. Okay, some flowers, some recognition, reward. Very nice. The seeker. <laughs> wow. Thirsty for wisdom and truth, wherever they are. Wow, Athea. Wow. The yin and the yang, the balance. Wow. You get two things here. Definitely an opportunity for adventure. An opportunity to go and discover something new. Okay? The, uh, traveling. Exploring places that you have never been before. It reminds me of this guy that is traveling the world and uh, is doing videos about every place that he goes. Okay, but he's alone. And in the, in that places, you find people that you know charm you. You're going in an adventure, and in every place that you will go, you will find someone that is trying to charm you. Okay, the prince is a charmer, and the Athelia is one of the it's, it's, it's beautiful car. It's one of the the last ones. Is the is the before the last one is this one. The truth. Our soul recognizes the truth, and here you are seeking for truth. Look at this truth and wisdom. Uh, when someone speaks it, a cool wave of relief washes over the room, and all the facts and figures in the world fall by the wise side. Such as is the power of Athea. It has an undeniable resonance that goes beyond the rational. We can also recognize Aletheia by its contagiousness. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. The Athelia card requires us to step towards an act of truth. This may look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic art, act, or a ritual that honors the unveiling of what being concealed. Reclaiming your own truth is a way to reclaim your vital energy, health and sense of belonging in the world. Truth has its own winds, set it free. Clarity, revelation and disclosure. Picasso said, we all know that art is not truth. Art is a lie that make us realize truth. At least the truth that is given us to understand. <laughs> you know what? 
I'm getting that many of you are going to reject the prince in, in search for your own truth. Uh, black and white, you know, yin and yang. Some, some of you are going to start a journey where you will find your prince, your true love, the true person in your life. And some others are leaving the prince in order to search for your own truth. Make sense? That's, what's, that's what is coming here. You're living, you're living a life of power for a life of wisdom. You're living a life of power for a life of wisdom. That's very interesting. <laughs> my dog was shouting because my son was coming. Yeah. Okay, the prince. Oh, look at this. The knight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. <laughs> Oh my God, definitely. This is a couple, you know what I mean? One is younger than the other. And I get the vibes that you are the queen of pentacles and you have you have already power. You don't need power that this person is offering. You know, you don't need the prince. You don't need the prince, which is the knight of pentacles. You are already the queen. I'm thinking many of you are walking away from this connection, eh? Why? Because you want to search for your truth. I mean, that's more clear than water. We cannot give more clear information than this. You have your own pentacle. You don't need the pentacles that this person is offering. No. Athelia. The tower, of course. The king of pentacles. <laughs> oh, my God. Definitely, you are leaving someone behind. Okay, the tower. Look at this. They're crying. And here is in reverse, no? So here we have a knight and a queen. The one that has the smallest pentacle is the, is the male and the biggest pentacle is the female. Here the female is hurt and the one with the pentacle is the male. You see, kind of, you know, opposite dynamic. Someone is not going to be happy that you leave, but you are going because you have enough and you want this journey. You, you you have a life. I mean, you don't need power. You already have it. You are on the search of wisdom. And that search of wisdom involves going, traveling, going places. Okay, let's check on the last one. A couple and a couple. You see? The last one. Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Yes, this, is, this excites you. This truly, truly excites you. Look at the happiness. And this is the seed that you want to plant in this world. You are in the search for wisdom, for a new seed to plant in this world, for a new life to plant in this world. You don't want to keep the pentacles in your hand and sit in there comfortable. You want to feel like a page again. You want to ignite new things in your body, in your life. You have to plant things in, different, in a different country, in a different world, in a different place. You want new at the bottom, look at this, the Ace of Wands. You want the passion, you want, the, you want to enjoy it. You want to live, no? And this offer is not good enough for you because you have more. There is a temptation here because the prince is nice or whatever. But at the end of the day, you have to say no and you go solo. You go solo. Because in this new journey, you are finding a new passion, a new destiny. And that's what is really important for you. Metamorphosis, yes, the change, the tower, the change. You want to reinvent yourself. Some of you are going to a place that is very dry. Dubai, Africa, Egypt, you know what I mean? Metamorphosis. 25, 52, significant age. Time for a, met, for, for a redefinition of who you are. The thinker, 44. You have thought about this many, many times. 44 is angelic and is protection and is you have all the... You have think about this for a long time. That's what I'm going to say. You have thought about this for a long time. And the opportunity come and you're going to take it. The Metal King. Discipline, Armand and Boundaries. Yeah. 
you have to put the boundary because there is nothing that stop you from seeking this wisdom, planting new seed, igniting your passion again. You're jumping, you know, from this window. You're going. You're putting boundaries with the life as you have it right now and you're going places. You're going into something new. Six of Cups, look at this. Great partnerships. Okay, let's put one more card here about the seeker. What the seeker is searching for. Two cards. The four of one and the ten of pentacles. <laughs> Growth. The right tribe. Money in a different place. You seek for growth like an entrepreneur or like a like you go into the world to find wisdom, to plant a new seed, to create this ten of pentacles. Not that you don't have it, it's because you are planting seeds of growth. And the tribe, the passionate tribe. That's what you're searching for. The judgment. Wow. What is this prince about? Mm, six of cups. Someone from the past. <laughs> Came twice, eh? Someone from the death. And someone from the past. But it's, I mean, I'm telling you, someone is going to be not happy, but well, it is what it is. Okay? What else, my dear pile number three, need to know about this? Oh, my God. I, that's why at the beginning I was feeling action, you know, because it's like you're putting this in action, okay? Eight of Swords. Wow. Someone is not going to be happy. I mean, for me, this is the Eight of Swords here, the person. Ten of Wands, look at that. And one more to clarify the King of Pentacles, okay? The Seven of Wands. The King of Pentacles is not a stop searching for the passion, I'm telling you, for this for this new beginning, for this new life. Night of Soul, that's the truth that you're following, okay? You want seven, seven, you know what I mean? You you don't, you want to, your thirst for wisdom and for growth and your thirst for Finding new, he has a one, he has a one in his hand. You see, you're searching for this new passionate beginning, no matter what. The prince with the offer of power is not good enough because you have the pentacles already. Someone is not going to be happy, but you know what? When someone search for growth, not everyone is there to follow. Ten of Pentacles, that's the summary of your reading. I'm going to put the ring there. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. I love to be back. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. And I cannot wait for the next one. I cannot wait for next week. Please comment, share, subscribe, like. Check on my Etsy shop if you want this or if you want something else. Check on Become a Patron. Check on Aura app because there is a discount in the link and the timestamp. Uh, it's a meditation, all-in-one meditation app and check on my deck of the Cosmic Creators as well because it's amazing, collaboration with Lon and Sam Prish. I love you. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Till the next time. Bye-bye.